They're getting fired up for no reason. I don't know why. I just need them. Anyways, welcome back to Madden 18 Fantasy Draft Franchise with the Miami Dolphins. So, the last time we faced up against Denver Broncos, wore some Austin jerseys. Carson Palmer came back and he led us to a 31 21 victory after we kind of almost blew a, uh, what was it, a, 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 a multiple score lead. But the good news is we didn't. Still won. I saw us play the New England Patriots for the second time in three weeks. As we only have four games left on our schedule. So why don't we just go ahead and just take a look at the peak, you know, of action of our actual schedule. For a little quick synopsis right here. Okay, Buccaneers is a 22-20 victory. Beat the Chargers 23-20. Beat the Jets 13-6. Beat the Saints 40-17. Beat the Ty Titans. Well, some of some in overtime. I had the force win that because it didn't save. Uh, beat the Falcons 30-7. We lost to the Jets the second time around, 29-23 in overtime. Beat the Ravens, 33-20. We beat the Raiders, 20-17. Beat the Panthers, 21-14. Then we had a bye week. Beat the Patriots first time, 27-17. We beat the Broncos, 31-21. We set to play the Patriots one more time, which is technically, okay, we don't need to see the Eagles schedule. Which technically, uh, you know, this is like a Monday night game, actually. So, yeah, we have, we're playing the Patriots, and we have to travel to Buffalo, take on the Bills, then we have to go to the Chiefs, and then our last home game and last regular season game is against the Bills. The good news is we've officially cleansed a playoff spot, and obviously we're going for that number one seed. We're 11-1 right now, and the Patriots are currently, if I'm not mistaken, they're actually battling the Jets for the uh, for one of the wild card spots. Well, technically they can get both of them, but I really don't, I mean, I kind of do want to play the Jets again because I, I, I want to beat them because they beat us the other time, but... You know, you know, it doesn't quite work like that unless we just you know, basically go and sabotage them. I go play as the Jets. I don't want to do that. But, uh, yeah, that's right, guys. Time for... So I really don't even have a good title. So maybe something will happen in this video to give me a good title. Because the only thing I can come up with is the power of prime time. That's all I got right now. So I need something pretty eventful to happen in this video. So uh, give me a title because I really don't know. Yeah, guys, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this playthrough. It feels like, it feels like it's been forever ago. Well, yeah, this stuff technically has been going on forever, somewhat, but hey, it is what it is, you feel me? Okay, so us and, yeah, see, look, they're trying to battle for case, so... So us and the Texans have already now clinched playoff spots. So we we have already so we've already clinched a wild card berth at best. Like that that's the worst thing we can get is a wild card berth. Which you know obviously we're shooting for higher than a wild card. Obviously. And remember these guys still have their backup quarterback because they don't have Big Ben. They don't have their top target in Odell. Thank goodness. So we don't, have to, we don't have we don't have to worry about OBJ unless we see them in the playoffs. Now, if we beat them in the playoffs, we're gonna probably gonna have to worry about OBJ, which obviously we want to do that, <laughs> you know, because obviously I don't want to have to worry about OBJ, and uh, obviously I don't really feel comfortable running it here. So why don't we just uh, obviously I what I meant to say was I don't feel comfortable throwing the ball here. I mean, Carolina's three and ten. I did not notice that. They're horrible. Isn't it? Oh my god, I thought I was I thought I was the lineman for some reason running the ball. I don't know why, but I did. Oh, so Lamar Miller. I think he literally just got over a thousand. He just got over a thousand yards rushing on the season. Nice. Very nice. Oh boy. The eleven. Hmm. Alright, let's try this. Hopefully, you know, this won't bat fire horribly like I think it will. Alright, okay, let's see if we can get him in the middle of the yeah, that'll work. There you go. First down of the 26 is A. Jones. Alrighty then. Start getting attacked by uh, C.J. Mosley there. I've been playing on, on my on another franchise of my own. I've 
Somehow, 10-0. I'm actually at the uh, the first matchup with the Patriots on mine. So far, so good. I got Melvin Gordon as my running back, and he's currently front runner for MVP, which is pretty cool. Not going to lie. What was, what was the last time a running back won the MVP award? Because right, lately, it's been quarterbacks. Like, this year was Patrick Mahomes. I don't remember who it was in 2017. Then 2016, it was Matt Ryan. And then 2015 was Cam Newton. And then I don't, I don't remember after that. So that, I just don't remember. Because obviously, I don't really try to remember back that far. But I don't remember who it was in 2017. I'm going to have to look it up. I want to say it was Tom Brady, but I know it wasn't. I mean, you know, Carson Wentz had got hurt in 2017. It would have been Carson Wentz hands down, and we all know that. Ah, he didn't get it. Ah, he's a two yards shy. Is that Xavier? Is that our boy? No, it's not a boy. No, it's Xavier Howard. Man, we should, well, I would say we should trade for him, but it's a little too late for that. And so we cannot make trades as it passes the trade down. Well, you know, I could turn the trade deadline off. You know, I oh no. Oh my gosh, it almost got blocked. Go, Daryl. Go, 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 go. Never mind. I got the two yard line. Perfect plan. That's what I'm talking about. And now I just still drive down the field. Maybe it's also like, go, 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 go. Get the ball. And this is like, ah, no, it's going to go to It's like, nice. And they still drop down the field. Come on, man. You're killing me right now. Like, seriously? Really? I mean, oh, it's Carl Lawson. Oh, come on. I forgot. Carl Lawson is back. You know, we kind of really didn't notice that just because of the fact that I don't know. We play offense more than defense in these scenarios. Like, it does all the defensive work. Oh, hey, third down, get a convert here, two-minute drill. You play more offense in the, in the, like, play the moment than you do defense. Like, they're, they're, it's easy to tell because you barely play defense at all. Unless this is like, unless, you know, like, they get down to the red zone and they go for it on fourth down toward the end of the game, the last-minute drive. Like, it, it, you know, it, it's just really complicated. Like, nobody really knows. I mean, it's just weird. It could be scary to the playoffs. Of the, the, during the playoffs, that we're literally going to be putting our, our entire season on the line for the CPU and just be like, hey, can you please come up clutch for us? Man, we can't lose to a backup. You know if we lose this game, it's called we lost to a backup quarterback. That's what it's going to be called if we lose this game. We lost to a backup quarterback. Kill us, please. Kill me, please. I don't deserve to live. Don't lose to Mike Glennon, please, guys. Not when we have our starter this time. Oh, this is like that much more important to me because uh, the Jets won. They're nine and four, and the Patriots have to win this game to get to nine and four. So they have to win this to really stay with them. Even though they're both the Jets and the Patriots are holding down both AFC wild card spots, so there's no really need to panic unless there's somebody behind you. Oh, get that out of here! There's Deion Jones. There's Debo. It knocked that out. Well, he didn't really knock. He just threw it at him, and he didn't catch it. <laughs> Just running back up. Ow, what just hit the back of my scapula? We get a stop here. We were forever known as Kings. We are forever known as Kings. You know, we're probably going to have a field goal. Who just got hurt? Who got hurt? Who was it? Was it Deion Lewis? I can't tell because they're all over. Like They're trying to rape him. No, no, no block. Well, great, nice job, guy. Oh, it's Houston lost, so they lost by one point to the 49ers. Well, nice job, D. Is way to hold up. You just hold on the three. I like it. All right, third and three. Oh, frick. Well, we're going to run the ball. You know, you feel me? We're just going to run the ball. We're going to have more faith in Lamar Miller, right, quick, you know? You just got to have more faith. That's first down. That is easily a first down. 
I was, about say, I, was about, I was about to call some serious bull right there if that was not a first down. But it was it was about to be bad if that wasn't a first down. Because it would have been some serious Oh come on, man. But you would have heard that. Juju, oh my gosh. How did that what was that? That was weird. I was backup defensive tackle? Oh, okay, I know why. Because we were in goal line defense, so we always bring it like another defensive tackle, and I guess he got hurt. Guess so, well, something about his thumb I didn't actually see, so. All right, hold on. I want to see. What did it say was wrong with him? Uh, dislocate the thumb. He's out for two quarters. Just, just leave him out for the rest of the game. Like, huh, Polly, come here, man. Let me just pop it back in place real quick. Ah! Yeah, how does that feel? It feels better, but it hurts like hell now. All right, you know what, Darius Slay? I'm going to let you handle your own against Travis Benjamin out there, and you do well for me. Like, I know Jimmy Smith has got us. Man, they got my tight end out there. I usually use Vernon Davis as my tight end. All right, 6-3, two-minute drill. All right, guys, see if we have time for us to get some points. So we're in a bit of a field goal battle here. We're losing 6-3. Could be worse. I mean, hey, it could be worse. You could have given up a two touchdowns right there. So we could be now 14-3. You know, but hey, good news is we're not. And then we got Juju. Okay, freaking retard. I guess messed up. And, uh, we don't, we're down a timeout. So uh, that's a little yay. You know what? We're going to call the exact same play because I'm me and I'm too lazy. Call anything original. You know, cause just because I'm too cheap and too lazy just to call something original. Because it's, it's kind of true, because I kind of am. <laughs> well, you know, except for the cheap part. Lazy part, I am 100% lazy. Like, I am super lazy. I don't ever want to do anything. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Wow, nice job. <laughs> nice job, noob. No way to hold on the ball, man. You know this defense can't step up forever. Well, guys, it's, it's not looking too good right now. Cars Palmer loses a fumble. Uh, the, the one guy we have that's in front of two of the defenders refuses to pick up the ball. So he's obviously a cut candidate. That was the weirdest sequence ever. You know, one of those moments you're like, did he catch it? Did he not catch it? What's going on? It was, it was one of those moments. All right, good, good, good pass breakup. We were, okay, Dog Talks has missed a, a sack because you dive with a D tackle it automatically kills the play. So, yeah, good job. I don't know who broke that up. Was it DJ Swearinger? Was it TJ McDonald? I know TJ McDonald was somewhere in that play. Okay, that is way out of bounds. Okay, we got to hold the field goal here, otherwise we're in some serious trouble. Got to stand tall. <laughs> we got to stand tall. Got to stand tall here. Like, come on, guys. We got to stand tall. Pump up the crowd. My right stick is literal trash, so. Oh, that's out of bounds. Oh, my God. How do we hold them to another? Okay, defense. I see you guys trying very hard to keep us in the game. All right, guys. So we held them. To, we've held them to three field goals so far. Uh, how did they get the ball? What happened? Wait, what? Okay. Uh, I'm a. Uh, I'm a little confused. What? It says it's their ball, but we're, we're on the off. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, hello. Uh, help. Cause. Of course, why would they? Why would anybody ever hold on to the football? Like, I'm, I'm so confused. Okay, we gotta stop. Uh, they get the ball back. Oh my god! Why? How are you? This game was for. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose this game. So this is very weird. I really don't understand what's going on. Well, I mean, if we do lose it, well, at least we can say we lost a defensive battle. 
Wow, that is we, we that is horrible. I don't really know what I just saw. We've allowed 333 yards today. Wow, it's you know like that one moment when you realize you're about to lose a game, and it's just like like you see in the Sonic movie, everything is freezing, but you get shot by many missiles and say, "Huh, I took my nine million steps today." Oh, that's pretty freaking cool. Not really. Oh well, I'm gonna just say this. Think about a touchdown. This is definite ball game. All right, because. Unless we just pull, like, one of these last-second comebacks, but I don't feel like we can because our offense has not been able to get Jack Diddley's squat going here. Ah, about time somebody got there. Carl Lawson! And I just hit my right nut, and it hurt. Or, I don't know. I hit one of my nuts, and it hurts. You know, I really didn't need to say that. I hit something, and it hurts. Oh wait, oh wait, no, we're screwed either way. We are screwed either way. So we're screwed either way. Give me the food, it'll be 12 to 3. So we're so we're kind of effed in the A either way. So, you know, I mean, you know, it's kind of a lose lose in the first place. Oh, okay, we're down by uh, nine points, officially, and uh, that uh, freaking hurt. All right, then. Well, we're in trouble, and it's fourth down and 18. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, all right, well, it, it was it was worth it. It was worth the shot, but you can't win them all. I like how you get yourself in these situations, and now i got to come bail everybody out. Like, just not great, great job, CPU. I, you should have just let me do all this. Oh my god, Juju! Oh, uh, Juju, when did you get out of bounds? Well, somebody got hurt, that'll work. I think it was somebody. It was somebody for them. God, I don't know how. Oh my god, we got a touchdown! Alright, we gotta get a stop here. Alright, so what are we gonna do? Do we need to blitz? Uh, I'm gonna blitz. Good thing I blitzed. Dang, Carl Lawson got three sacks tonight. Lit. Getting fired up. Dislocated shoulder. Okay, we just lost our uh, our key guy. So, uh, they're still, okay, they're, they're going to, I don't, what are they going to, are they going to run the ball? It's second and 19. Shoulder strain. We're, our entire team is starting to get hurt again. It's not good. I don't know what's really happening right now because this is very weird. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, that was too close. Edge blitz. God, I don't know what to call. What are they trick us? What are they going to they They're going to go play action on us, and they're going to get the first down, and they're going to ice the clock, and they're going to win the game. And I didn't stop the clock at all, so good job, me. Thank god. All right, timeout, 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 timeout. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going on. Game winning drive right here. Game winning drive. Last time we did this crap. I, I don't know how long it's been since I was on the game. But last time I think I remember attending a game winning drive. Well, I don't know. We did, we had to do it against Tampa Bay. And back in the season opener. We had to do it there. And we gotta start from the sixteen, but all we gotta do is get in the field goal range. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's see if I can do this. All right, guys, here we go. Is it going to be a clutch comeback today, or is it going to be our second loss of the season? Let's find out. Hopefully, you'll be the former and not the latter. So, we you know, hopefully we're about to find out here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I about faked him out. Jesus Christ. I, I, was, like, oh. I was like, oh, my gosh, he's got 95 speed. If he can hit by this man, he's gone. Okay, come on. We're at midfield. We gotta get in the field goal range. Come on, we gotta get in the field goal range. Gotta get in the field goal range here. Okay, okay, okay. What do we want to call him? Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid. Nothing st stupid. Okay, I kind of want to call a timeout here. Third and five. Uh, we want to call, uh, oh my god, I am like so scared right now, it's pathetic. If he gets sacked, that is like ball game almost. If you get sacked here, it's basically the equivalent of ball game. Oh my god, how long is the field goal? How long is the field goal? How long is the field goal? 
It's going to make us go for it. How long is the field goal? 62 yards. Oh, my God. They're going to ice the kicker. All right. We're going to attempt a... Um, we're going to attempt a 62-yard field goal. No. Okay, he's not going to make it. So, he is not going to make that because he's not going to. It's Justin freaking Tucker, man. What? All right, this is for the game. No, he freaking dropped it. Oh, my God. Idiot! What a what a jackass! What a jackass! What a freaking jackass! How how do you drop that, man? Well, all right, we got the title. We lost to lost to a backup. Well, anyway, it's time for the daily stats. Mike Glenn, seventeen for twenty-seven, two hundred forty-seven yards. Carson Palmer, sixteen for twenty-five, two hundred forty-one yards and a touchdown. He didn't even throw a touchdown, and we still lost. That is. Bad. This is that is embarrassing. I gotta hear this. Okay, so Deion Lewis, twenty-four rushes, one hundred seventeen yards. He obviously ate the defense's ass tonight. Uh, Lamar Miller, thirteen rushes for thirty-nine yards. Carson Palmer, two rushes for seven yards. Mike Glennon, two. Rushes for three yards. Rex Burkhead, one rush for five yards. And then Juju had eight receptions for 137 yards. One touchdown. Could not freaking hold on to some clutch moments here. Travis Benjamin, five receptions for 54 yards. I am like super thirsty right now. I'm hyped up for no reason again. Greg right, Olson, four receptions for 67 yards. Robert Woods, four receptions for 70 yards. Zay Jones, three receptions for 25 yards. Taylor Gabriel, three receptions for 53 yards. Holy crap, a lot of people caught in football. Deion Lewis. Two receptions for 47 yards. Drake Burke had one reception for four yards. Vernon Davis, one reception for five yards. Brent Sully, one reception for four yards. And Zach Ertz, one reception for 22 yards. Why did so many people catch the freaking ball? Holy crap. Like, oh, man. This is bad. I am not really liking our odds no more. Josh Sullivan, four for four. With a longer 39. Just took a one for one with a longer 33. Why couldn't you kick a 62-yard field goal because you suck? You're no good. The streets why you missed that PAT and you played the Saints this year. You're trash. Jordan Berry, three punts, 131 yards. Johnny Hager, three punts, 163 yards, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not reading all that. Scoring summary right here. I don't even freaking know anymore. But that just that was that was bad. That was horrible. That was a very embarrassing loss. We held him to four field goals. And we can't even score. It's just like, dude, what the heck? You know, they 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 they, they, they kind of deserve the win. We, okay, maybe maybe we kind of did deserve to lose because you know, so most of the time losing is better than winning. So our top offensive earners were Juju Smith Schuster, Lamar Miller, Carson Palmer, Zach Ertz, and Travis Frederick. Top defensive earners: Michael Bennett, Carl Lawson, Deion Jones, Davon Gonchalks, and Kyle Williams. No, I don't want to do that. Can we just move on? Okay, good. Nobody got hurt. Thought my entire team was going to push out on me again. But anyways, guys, we're going to get to 7-6 Bills team. You know, I don't really... I'm not very proud of losing to a backup quarterback, so... So that like kind of like kills the mood right there. I blame your fumble for this, Carson Palmer. You had to lost that fumble. It would have never got a field goal out of that. We would have won the game ten to nine. This is Carson Palmer's fault. Just kidding. This is all the the entire defense's fault. But anyways, guys, this guy that's that's all we got for this video. I will see you all when we get ready for Week 15. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. As we're getting closer and closer. To the overall achieve. Until then, peace out, guys. I will see you all next time.